Okay, so we have a new mission. Go find Dr. Strange Love. And that note of recommendation that Healy was talking about is actually a love letter from him to Strange Love. So, yeah, if you know what happens in the story between you and Strange Love, it's like. Snake, the doctor's safe here with us. Huey, how are you feeling? Never better. This is quite the pad you've got here, boss. I'm impressed. Call me Snake. Whatever you say. Like it or not, everyone here calls you boss. <laughs> By the way, if you're at all interested in improving your tech, by all means, assign me to the R&D section. I'm pretty sure I'll be of some use. Once we have the necessary materials and blueprints, we can start work on that bipedal mech. I appreciate that, but are you sure you're okay with having your work used for war? I'm... I'll be using it to keep past mistakes in check. If I can help thwart the Peace Walker project, I'm happy to do it. <laughs> Deterrence theory, Huey style, huh? Anyway, if you need any intel on the enemy's weapons or electronic brains, contact me. I've been given my own frequency. Sounds good to me, Doc. I'll do that. Good. Whatever the means, you must put a stop to their plans. Hmm. I hate Huey. Hey, boss. You mind if we powwow for a second? Powwow? Uh, what now? MSF brand rations? Actually, that sounds... No, no. With all the men we have now, it may be time we started sending some of them to other countries. You mean, dispatching marks? How else are we gonna keep feeding the crew we have? I know. You're right. Okay. To deploy troops, select Outer Ops from the Mother Base menu. If it goes really well, we might even get new recruits, weapon design specs, or leads on new missions. We can deploy any vehicles or large-scale weapons in our arsenal as well. And if things don't go really well? Yeah, we could lose men. I won't try and force you. You're the one calling the shots here, boss. So that's our way to get... ...ammo. What? Why is everybody getting sick? You, go to the R&D team, dude. Nice. Nice. Hey, why, why, what's the medical team? You're level 10. Do your job, medical team. Jesus. To the Cloud Forest. Snake, Peace Walker is the heart of the enemy's project. To prevent its completion, you'll need to either shut down or destroy the artificial intelligence that functions as its brain. According to Huey, that AI is now undergoing final calibrations in Strangelove's lab. It's inside a tropical cloud forest. Slip in and terminate that AI before they ship it out. Okay, we can do that. Get our weapons in order first. Alright. Chapter 2. I think there's only five chapters. Snake! How's the mule treating you? Uh, at this pace, I should be there by tomorrow morning. You've got to hurry. The AI could be completed any time now. It would be nice to have a guide. Already on it. I've enlisted Paz to help you. She knows the jungle pretty well. Snake, I know you are an expert in survival, but you need to stay alert. You are in an ancient jungle so foggy, you can hardly see the trees. It is home to 2,500 species of plants, including 400 types of orchids. There are also 500 species of butterflies and over 400 species of wild birds. The bedrock is solid enough that Mayan ruins have miraculously survived centuries of earthquakes. Uh, a 
an AI lab in a mine ruin. Who'd have thought, hey, Huey? My sentiments exactly. That doesn't mean security is any less tight, though. You still have the ID card I gave you, don't you? Got it right here. That'll get you through the gate, no problem. After that, you're on your own. As long as the AI remains unassembled, Coldman's plans on ice. <laughs> what about security inside the lab? Well, it shouldn't be a problem for you. Strange Love demanded that the security presence inside the lab be kept to a minimum. It's not all good news, Snake. Coldman knows we're here. He's raised security in the area surrounding the lab. You'll be seeing a lot of that chrysalis UAV, and a bunch of patrol choppers, too. There may be scouts in the jungle lying in ambush. As you approach the lab, be extra vigilant. I'll be careful. to the north. It won't be long before the AI is complete. Don't let that happen. Alright. Shades of Snake Eater with him eating that fish. Straight out of the river like a boss. That's why this guy's big boss. There's no Careful. other big boss. If there's enemy scouts around here, they'll be nearly impossible to see. You say that. Unless you know where they are. Like the guy that's right here. The guy that's right there. The guy that's right... I think there's a guy over there. Watch out. Enemy search may not spot enemies that are actively hidden. No, we don't need that yet. So we're gonna drop right here. I just heard what are you? Ah! Talking. Okay, that's all you gotta say. I really need that sneaking suit. Go to sleep, dude. Jeez. Are we in a loop? Okay, never mind. Pretty sure this guy's good. Gonna hold this guy up. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. Let's see where the next dude is. He might be behind that tree. Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Let's see. Yep, right there. Freeze. Go home. There's another guy right there. Is there? Captain recovery helicopter is complete. Is that guy not here in this one? No, he's not there in story. Okay. He might be there if you have to come back here. Now there should be a guy right there, a guy right there, or there, there's a guy over there, another guy behind that tree, so there's another guy here, that's good, there's definitely a dude right there that you can see his head, right there, look, see? And there's a guy right here. Freeze. Okay. 
Is there another one? Yep, right there. Okay. What's this? Hmm. We're doing good. This is easy. Now this is gonna be difficult. Yep, we gotta take that out. I think that's the last um, mech that we have to take out. The last um, regular mech, I guess, because the Metal Gears are mechs. So. budget of a defense department behind us. I understand. That's why I want to ask you something. If you fight any more AI weapons, could you try to gather as many of their parts as you can? That would really make things go a lot smoother. Again, easier said than done. If anyone could do it, you can, boss. You single-handedly took out the pupa. True. Look, <laughs> if you're not interested, I can just work with what we have here. I'm not trying to force you to take unnecessary risks. You're the boss around here. All right. No promises. But I'll think about it. Great. Also, each AI weapon has a head part that serves as the core of its armament. Recovering a head part will allow you to use the weapon associated with that part. But those guys won't go down without a fight. So don't get too preoccupied with this stuff. Don't worry. I'm not about to risk my life for a bunch of scrap. I would hope not. Uh, well, one more thing. Our new bipedal weapon needs a name. Mm, good point. We can't keep calling it our bipedal weapon. I had a talk with Miller, and we came up with Metal Gear Zeke. Metal Gear... Zeke? Yep. As you know, Metal Gear was coined by Gronin. And Zeke? It's a name the U.S. military gave to Japanese aircraft that flew during World War II. Zeke was the Japanese Navy's best fighter plane. So are you okay with that, Snake? <sighs> sure. Fine by me. Miller was saying that an army without borders will need a deterrent against other countries. He's right. With Metal Gear, MSF can achieve true independence. Here's hoping. Hmm. So now we have our own Metal Gear in development. I was hoping that M60 would be done. But yeah, see, it's only 16% now. That sucks. That sucks. Okay, uh, what are we going to do? Got any staff? Yes, we do. All intel people. All right, let's go see what we can do against this thing.
So we don't have any law ammo. Hmm. Snake, that's a hind. You've got to take it out somehow. Either neutralize the soldiers or bring down the chopper. Good luck. I want to say we're going to have to neutralize the soldiers. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like the only thing we can do. Especially if we don't have any law ammo.